All right, y'all. I'm making a quick little video for anybody that cares. Whereas, there's literally no data on or pictures, forums, whatever. I didn't search too hard, but not too much on ECS's website. <clears throat> Always hate when uh, the people who sell you stuff don't put info on. But they didn't have my car as an application. Uh, if you couldn't tell, there's a TDI engine, two liter CJ AA. Um, my turbo blue, so I've got a different turbo, and you can see I've got you know. Uh, no DPF, CR170 turbo, and I had to do a couple of uh, special things. Got a heater hose and made my own connector right there because it was slightly different from the factory one. Um, it doesn't have like a, a baffle adapter like the other piece did for emissions that drains somewhere. But <sighs> I had to redo my tensioner the other day, so I was taking stuff off, and my belly tray was oily, so. I knew that it was pushing too much air through the PCV, and I don't want to mess up this turbo, so I bought a radium catch can, and that's going to go back here. And uh, the reason it's going back there is because the downpipe is right there. Um, there's enough <laughs> threads on these forums about, dude, what about your uh, your catch can during the winter time? Um, there's companies like I think it's uh, is it Perrin, yeah that make them for the STIs and WRXs that actually run coolant through. I was thinking of getting the air oil separator that Radium makes and using the expansion line to do that, but I mean, <laughs> it's way more work than putting it over here where it just gets naturally heated up. If anything, um, I do plan to probably put basalt like heat wrap all around the downpipe so it'll keep it at a more ideal temperature that doesn't change the color of the anodizing. But I got these cool little things because like I said that catch cans going over there so these pop off this will just not be used anymore and uh, this that one's hairy right there for sure not bad y'all but uh, I think it'll still grant me clearance without having to trim the actual turbo pipe down there since I don't want to trim a nice expensive part like that that you can't order from normal Volkswagen dealerships um, the idea is these two We'll have dash 12. These are dash 10 size, but uh, BMRS makes some beautiful lines and fittings, uh, one of which adapts from 10 to 12 as a hose end. It's really cool. Um, I mean, if you look at the size of this versus that, the diameters aren't. <laughs> dash 12 is what you need, you know. Um, BMRS, excuse me, there's a car, but BMRS also has a, the Teflon corrugated tube like that, so it'll be good for vacuum, but. I think these fittings are going to work out excellently. I'll do some uh, some videos of the install. Um, I'm thinking that my bracket is going to work like this over here so far. And um, you know, drop a comment if you want a system like this too. I'm thinking of making a couple. And if a prototype worked and it wasn't quite you know perfect, but you kind of could make it work, I, w I would give you that too or something. But that's what I'm going to do to solve my uh, PCV system that was engineered for a CR140 turbo being overwhelmed by the 170. Uh, to fix the oil going in it.